All right, everybody, and welcome back. Super Chief Sand Dam for the LMP3 race. And we're gonna go ahead and crow five real quick here. So it feels a little bit more competitive than I was expecting. Um, SRF Team 13. But we should be pretty good, I think. We got you know, practice, we get sport core challenge. It, it was a little bit messy. Um we got Tourette, but we get finished we finished it P3 and but I still think it wasn't worth it for me to upload that one because it was so messy. And we got into a couple rips. So I'm like we can do it again and do it better and more clean. It was embarrassing. I got like eight S and Pro Fine and Something like that, it's crazy. Alright, we're gonna see how good we are here. Try to get a good exit here. See how we do here on this first lap. It's a little bit too much rotation that inside. All right, that could be better. Could be better. Probably not gonna be like a pool or something, but definitely gonna be a little bit solid. And we're gonna overshoot that first corner. That corner's tough. That corner is tough. Um, cold tired. Kind of set up again here. Set up the um, set up another lap. Could be better. Could be better. That was pretty good. Not great. Not great. Great. Should be better. It's tough. They play is tough on um, cold tires. After like five laps or so, it's a lot easier. Much better, I guess. Oh no! Scary close to losing that lap completely. How scary. But able to put on P3 for now. That was tough. That was tough. Um, when I get sport course challenge, we got eight ads ship from Crow Fine alone. Because we were struggling with cold tires, but we got a little bit more practice and we got a little bit better here. So I'm happy with this. I'm happy with P3 for now. I'm um, gonna get a little bit more drink. Pre thirsty tonight.
I guess we're somehow storing P3 here. This is Esalen. This is Esalen. Special at the SRF of being 1500. So P3 storing spot. It's a little bit surprising for me, but here we are. And hopefully we'll jump the race core in my first lap. Like we get in the sport core challenge. Still waiting for the, um, the field to join us. Hopefully it's a good race for us. So we got 17 laps to get this done, 20 minutes. No big deal. <coughs> um, but start this race in the first five laps was pretty chaotic. And the sport cores challenge thingy but it's probably because there's also GG4 court racing too so that's probably part of it all right we're gonna see how we do here um LMP3 challenge here at Sandown so this track it's pretty rare pretty rarely um used it pretty rarely it's we used it like maybe a handful of times per season and it's usually for smaller cars like um the GR86 Cup, the LMP3, the GG4 and that's pretty much it. Sometimes the form of 4 but yeah that's pretty much it. Somebody to die behind me. So got to keep at it. Um, somebody to die behind me, and I think that slowed it everybody down. So we have pretty big gap between B and P four. I think this corner is like the key corner. We are real slow comparing to these front first two guys. Keep at it. Keep at it. Oh, shift it early. Alright, well, not terrible. Not 
helpful. Pretty good run so far. Um, let me even let me finish the P3. We got a lot to be proud of. These guys. Too much scraping. That was too much scraping. Now we're almost to the point. Where we might have to be a less attractive, so we'll screw it up or overshoot the corner to keep the gap between B and P4. Hey, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. A little bit slow that time, but we're still growing the gap between B and P4, so I'm not too upset about it. Much better that corner. Still maintaining the gap over P4 and no doubt that the P4 had right people behind him to worry about. So he's probably beer driving too, slowing slowing down himself. Anyway, that was a little bit too much rotation that corner. But that means tires are getting warmer and warmer, so it's gaming game a little bit easy to grip up and go around these corners. Alright, the guy behind me had slowly figuring out. But he's still got seven seconds to make up to me. Oh shit. This is what I was worried about. This is what I was worried about. We're gonna lose like three seconds. That's what I was worried about. Did I did I mess it up too behind me? Now the gap is back to seven seconds. Well, lucky me. I guess the fort rim off or something. Now we got another chance to worry about behind me. Here we go. Almost drive off again. That corner scary me. Just 
got to keep it up here. Keep it up. Keep it up. Don't screw up that turn nine. That was a little bit too scary for my chase. That was a little bit too scary for my chase. in that corner this time. Or we just fuck you up this corner. That's like the worst corner to mess up. Because you got this long straight. So you'll hit the corner perfect. You're a bit slow. Good grief. We have to clean it up. The guy behind me are right now down to 4.5 seconds. We have to stop messing up that corner. Much better, I guess. But the guys behind me to A up the gap. the struggle boat with the last port. There we go. There we go. Got a good run off of that corner. Very important quarter for good runs. That was okay. That was good, that was good. Bit boost through these two corners. Awesome. the rest of that lap. Pretty fast.
We're right on it here. Right on it. It's by four. It's my best race. That sand dam so far. a good lap. We're keeping it steady here. Keep it steady. That was a little bit overdriving that set of corners. But I mean, we're maintaining the gap, so there's nothing to it. Nothing the guys behind me can do about it. That could be better, but it's not a complete disaster, so... We're almost there, we got like five minutes left. So we're doing okay. We're doing great. We're doing great. Don't worry about the people behind me focus on the track. We're not overdriving, of course. That was bouncy. That was bouncy. Stay focused. Keep those snake tile. Keep those snake. You got this. You got this. Keep going. Yeah, we're losing small amount of gap. But like, it's still generally in five to seven second range. So, so we're kind of get even with people behind us. been a pretty good race. I'm pretty happy with this. Pretty happy with this. The focus strong. Strong out focus here. Pretty fast lap, once again. Screw up that corner very slightly, but not a big mistake. No, it's a super big mistake. Just be careful.
very, very fast asset. So yeah, this is a um, pretty fun race track, a ram horse track. Last time I heard, there's a lot of danger from not um, N I M B Y people about tr they're trying to shut down this track because of the noise level. So they're trying to shut the track down here at Sand Dam, and they're also the owners of this track is also trying to sell the whole complex um, to buyers. So there's a real chance this track might not be around me anymore after a couple years. So it's probably a good thing that iRaisin has stepped in to, you know, start saving this track. You know, soft save this track. Because it's pretty much very, very endangered it right now. Which I think is a bummer. I never personally believe that any racetrack should be gone because of noise. I mean, unless you, you got a house, it's like a lot of houses, and you built a, um, a racetrack in the middle of it, then yeah, that's pretty dumb. But if you move to the neighborhoods right next to the racetrack, knowing that there's a racetrack, that's a different story right there. You got traps that's been around for a hundred years. They're endangered it right now because, you know, the neighbors are finally are starting to bitch about the noise. Trying and they're probably they're probably being paid by um real estate real estate people to make noise. You know, to make noise about Well the traps making noise. To force the trash to sell. So the land developers can make a lot of money out of it. It's pretty shady, you know. It's pretty shady how all these organizations are getting together to protest the trash over noise levels. Especially trash that's been around for 50, 100 years. It's crazy. So we have one more lap. And it's gonna be pretty good finish for us. So I'm pretty happy with this. P3 is amazing. Over overshot the corner, even though I was braking pretty early. I didn't hit the brake hard enough. And we finished it the race. It was a pretty lonely race, but we finished it. P3 only Truex after 20 minutes. Which I guess incredible. I feel like that race finished it pretty early, but whatever. Alright, that was awesome. I'm pretty happy about that one. Pretty proud of myself. That was pretty fun. So yeah, he was the start. The start this race. That might be on um, my stream shot right there. Or maybe this will be. I don't know. But we have Sam Cast to start over Peach. Um, number one, who was P3 at the time. Got a great start. But I mean, ultimately, he had faster pace, so. And then that guy. He's the guy I saw dying of the beer, and that kind of stacked you up, everybody. 
some tears. Do my chin planking. And then this guy shit hit the curb beam and washed it and ran into um, that guy. So that's a bummer. That's a bummer. That's what's gonna happen when you're dancing on the top of her beans. And he's gonna spin and got his ass into the wall. This that was for P4. Ouch. That's why number four lost the gap to us. And it's gonna spin out. Blinker. And it's gonna lose in that last corner. And number four. He's gonna spin off of that curve. There's number four, no, that's actually number 12 spinning behind him. Number six is gonna spin out a lot of spinner in this one. And blinker. That's a spin. Yep. When I'm when I'm a curb. That's kind of hard. High speed, yeah, high speed spin coming up. And that's it. That was a good race. That was a good race for us. Um, no real drama in this one, so. Let's see what we can pick out. Let's go here. Yeah, that was a pretty lonely race, but. We we got we did the job. We did what we did it to do. So I'm happy. Alright, well, that was pretty awesome. Pretty good race by us. I'm pretty happy. So yeah, make sure you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know what you'll think about this. Also, let me know what your opinion about Sand Down. I think it's a pretty fun track when you're racing with the right people and with the right car. So yeah, that was fun. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I know it was pretty lonely. I know there's very little action, but you're doing something right when you have very little action because that means you're ahead of everybody else for the most part. So I'm happy with this. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Have a good one.